One problem for anybody uh, introducing her turns out to be that she herself is a master of the introduction. Um, <laughs> the first sentences of her pieces are declarative, authoritative, and often absurd all at the same time. Um, and they sort of dare you not to read the next sentence. So um, instead of introducing her any further, I'm going to sort of let a couple of her sentences uh, introduce her for her, and then we'll chat. Um, so I'm just going to read them in quick succession like a weird prose poem. Um, <laughs> the Maui surfer girls love one another's hair. Of all the guys who are standing around bus shelters in Manhattan dressed in nothing but their underpants, Marky Mark is undeniably the most polite. <laughs> one of the last happy meetings of the Tanya Harding fan club took place at Nancy Wellfelt's house around her dining room table. In Bulgaria, some tennis balls are like dumplings. <laughs> For a while, Silly Billy was of the mind that all clowns were fungible. If Colin Duffy and I were to get married, we would have matching superhero notebooks. If I were a bitch, I'd be in love with Biff Truesdale, who is a dog. <laughs> um, so I thought maybe we could start out by talking a little bit about um, process and just, you know, first sentences is, for you, when you start writing, does the first sentence have to come first and does it have to be right before you can move on to anything else or how does that work for you? Um, it's funny, I'm sorry, I'm still <laughs> laughing over these thinking, really? Did I write those? Um, for better or worse, I, I write from the beginning to the end yeah. in stories and as a result, I can't move forward until I get that first sentence down. I think partly it's um, I'm writing the way a reader would experience the piece. Um, it, it, as a result, my entry into the piece is replicating what the reader is going to experience. So it feels natural to me that I'm, I'm kind of building the story the way it will be read. Um, it's also a matter of tonally getting, finding myself before I continue writing. And it, it would be very odd, even though I envy people who can sort of write the blocks of text, then store them and assemble it like a Lego when they have all of these pieces, I, I just can't do that. And I realize that the model that maybe makes more sense for me is oral storytelling. Um, you would, while you might think in advance of anecdotes that you're going to tell in the course of, of telling a story, when you are telling a story, you begin at the beginning and you build and there's a lot of rhythm, there's a lot of, of subconscious process going into keeping people engaged and listening. It seems to me you can't do that unless you do it in order. Or at least I should say, I can't do it unless I do it in that order, modeling as if I were telling the story out loud and counting on all of the, the rhythmic propulsion that would come in, in telling a story out loud. 